Looks good? Awesome. Come on in. Thank you. Yo, what's good? This is Mills Thursdays, and I'm back live. This time, I got guests with me, man. And actually, these are not guests, man. These are my brothers, first of all. But first of all, I'm glad to have people in person to talk to and not through Zoom. You know what I'm saying? I know with everything that's going on, we did the Zoom speeches and all that. But yo, we here. We here, man. And first of all, I'm going to go straight into it. Make sure you sub, like, and comment. But yo, who's this brother right here, man? Who's this brother? Go ahead, introduce yourself. Sean Penn. Y'all seen my films? Um, nah, man. Let the dirt say amen. Representing DC, DMV all day. Right, 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 right. Um, rest in peace to all the rappers that failed to outdo me this past year. I love you. <laughs> and, to my, you? and to my left, we got. Yes. Uh, man, Ronnie Belafonte, <laughs> aka Ronnie Bueller. Um, Keep going. Producer, photographer, uh -huh. artist, visionary, yeah. creative. And I'm just with my brothers celebrating just life being together. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta you gotta talk that talk, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? Because who's gonna do it for you? True. You know what I'm saying? True. You know, there's a lot of hate going on, but yo, know, we here as loved ones. We love each other, and we out here just spreading love. That's what we're trying to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even with this platform right here, you check it out with these bros, man. But yo, I remember it was my birthday. Had a little speech. You know what I'm saying? I, I said I was like, yo, man, no excuses. For like, man, no excuses. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta bring my brothers. I gotta bring my brothers through, man. It's been a minute since you've been here. Yeah. It's been a minute since you've been here, Let the Dirt. Yeah. I'm gonna start with you, Let the Dirt. All right, let's go. How the hell? <laughs> How the hell? Uh oh, sweet. It's all right. I'm gonna keep that in there, too. It's my agent. I'm gonna say it again. It's my that, that's my your agent. agent. <laughs> Busy but man. Yeah, but hold yeah. on. How the hell? And why the hell did you decide to come to the West Coast, man? Mm. Ah, that's a great question. Um, first of all, I want to salute our sponsor, Ciroc Spring Water. <laughs> you know, they got into the water game as well. I know y'all ain't know that, so salute to them for hooking us up with this. Right. Um, yeah. Future. I came future. out west the same reason those old settlers came back in the day before anybody had a phone, before uh, IG existed, before um, Sneak Dissing existed. They just was in search of a better life. They was in search of gold. And I have a, a particular type of gold that I'm after. Mm. And I feel like I did as much as I could do in the DMV for the time spent. And um, I should take what I learned, take what I gained, and come over here where I felt on several visits each yeah. time it was pulling. Like, yo, you should be here. Yo, you should be here. What if you moved here? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now it's like I have the blessing of being with a brave enough woman who said, I want to move to L.A. Yeah. I mean, she's doing costume design. I'm a musician, hip hop, production, mm -hmm. uh, lyrics. And I say lyrics specifically because that shit is missing from the game. Because nah, I look at the camera. For real. All yeah. right, if you want that, I'm, I'm available. Let right? the door say amen. On man. Apple Music, I'm on not, DSP. I'm not cheap, man. but I'm available. Man, I'm right? into that. But you gotta yeah, know your price, right? It's just, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. It's about trying to elevate. Like, yeah. the escalator takes you up. So it's like, all right, escalator or elevator, I'm trying to go up with it. Um, and I don't like spinning my wheels. You know what I'm saying? Like, at a certain point, it felt like, all right, am I just spinning my wheels here in my mm. hometown? Because mm. it's. It's comfortable, it's familiar, it's easy to be in your hometown. Understood. Even if you ain't doing shit, but that's the problem. You don't want to just be not doing shit. So um, remembering that LA is LA, it's vast, it's big. And that same not doing shit that you could be doing in DC, you can end up not doing shit here. And mm -hmm. it, it could hit you a little more severely because of the landscape, because of how, how things are done over here. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's a lot of love here. I feel like it's a lot of acceptance of, yo, is that who you are? All right, cool. You know Understand. what I mean? Whether or not that means I'm going to ignore you and let you do your thing, or I'm going to embrace you and do your thing. It seems like there's a just, look, you know, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Find your lane. Try to figure out how to get your slice. Keep that. I'm going to go right back to you, okay? That was real. 
I appreciate y'all gotta try this water. <laughs> I'm, but honestly, I'm, I'm gonna get back to you on that. Um, mm -hmm. because you saying that, I've been here for five years. I also moved from the DMV area. You know, people who Northern, don't who Northern don't Virginia. live in DC. You know yeah. what I'm saying? People who don't live in Nova. DC be be saying DMV, but. I got a rep where I'm from. I do say Nova, and I I represent Northern but that's Virginia. The DMV. You feel what I'm saying? That's the feel DMV. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's me. So the reason why I was like, I'm gonna come back to you and I relate to you in a sense as well is because I don't know if people feel this if they're in their area, but the DMV specifically, it wasn't anything. Now, if I say I'm a rapper, which I am, actor, and things like that, they won't take me serious. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because over there. It's very corporate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and for you to be a rapper, they want you to they want to see you on that certain level, yes, that certain it's, flight it's, mm -hmm. before they like, okay, this guy's for real. You know what I'm saying? They gonna think, oh, he's just a basement type dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I had some people that over there that were accepting of, you know, my creative side, but I didn't feel it as much mm -hmm. as when I came here in LA. It was yeah. more acceptance. You see what I'm saying? Because you could feel the vibe. Mm -hmm. Wasn't really a vibe like that, but obviously that's where I'm raised. That's why I love. But like you said, you got to go to new mm -hmm. elevated levels. You yeah, feel what yeah. I'm saying? So I actually wanted to ask you. So Ryan, by going off what he said, yeah, you from here? Born and raised. Right? Yeah, born and raised, man. Do you agree with that vibe? Um, absolutely. Okay. Uh, because there was a point in time where I felt like I, I probably have to leave L.A. to link up with the right people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I felt like L.A. was going a certain direction that I didn't want to go, you know. And I wanted to make a change, um, change the scenery, inspiration, all that, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like with y'all coming here, man, and us linking up, like, it just kind of gave me, like, a new light to look at. Because I'm like, okay, well, I got... I got some guys that are from that are out of town, but they they fitting in. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And we vibing on different levels. And of course, like you know me, I've been knowing Keith for a while, just getting to know. Uh, let the dirt say amen. But like we just been vibing from day one. And like even like even before like he came here, like we just been vibing like on Instagram. And yeah. I'm sharing his stuff. You know what I mean? Sharing my stuff and just showing love, man. So like I was looking for that, man. Cause I, me personally, I feel like in LA. Like it's it's either you're you're a hipster or you're a gangster. It's mm. either that it's either those two lanes, bro. Mm. And like I'm kind of like in between, cause like I got I got hipster homies, I got gangster homies. You know what of I mean? Course, just, of course, being from LA. Yeah. Um, and of course, music wise, like I I do a lot of music and not just the typical LA music. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So like that puts me in a situation. I'm like, man, like I need to branch out. Because I feel like a lot of artists in L.A. is not thinking the way I'm thinking musically, mm. you know what I mean? And not to say that they aren't, but it's like the ones that I've stumbled across hasn't, you know what I mean? A very selective few, like Maestro, that's my that's my bro. Shout, Shout out, out to you, man. Yo, Shout you, out Maestro. You Maestro, me, Maestro does not get the credit he deserves as an mm -hmm. artist. Um, and he he's on a constant basis of putting out great material. He, he's not just wasting people's time like this dude is really structuring his ideas bringing it to light and sharing that with the world and i just feel like it's just it's it's a it's a weird feeling in la like we just we don't have that connection like the south has you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. like the south got that lot that's why they're winning yeah, the south, the yeah, south is yeah. putting everyone on they're playing the records you know what i mean everywhere you go like yeah. in, a, in atlanta wherever it's locked you feel me but yeah. It's a different culture out here, bro. It's gang culture, and that's that's one thing that kind of separates everybody in you, a sense. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy, yo? Like, um, shout out to Tommy FBC. That's my brother, yo. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you as another artist as well. That's my boy. Check his check his shit out on Apple Music, Spotify, and all that. Um, two weeks ago, you know, I went to I went to the show, right? Yeah. One of the performers that uh, I forgot his name, but um, he he's known out here in L. A. He had a crazy support group. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy support. I was like, I looked, I'm just like, damn. Mm -hmm. Cause even when you say that, because back at home, I'm mm -hmm. bringing home again. Yes. It, it 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 made me happy to see that. Be like, okay, I see that support. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. 
But at the same time, I'm like, damn, that's what I wanted mm -hmm. when I was back home. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Of course. I didn't have that with my friends here. Yeah. Uh, back back in where I was yeah. at. Yeah. And, and to be real, I feel like I related to a lot more people here mm -hmm. just because of my process and where I'm trying to go. Mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm saying? And no, no disrespect to the 9 to 5. If that's how you make your money, that's how you make it. But some people have the attitude having that nine to five, whereas like, oh, I'm better than yeah, because yeah. I am this and this. Yeah. Or some people be like, oh, I'm a doctor, so I can't talk to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's here too. I, you I, know? Love, but I didn't see that. I didn't mm -hmm. see it. So I was like, you know what? You bringing up the South and I saw that here in, in LA. If that's what LA needs, more unification and just people just supporting each other, we that's it, fun. We need it, man. We need, I feel like in LA, bro, we need the OGs to support the up and coming artists, like really like mold them and you know, let them like teach them the game, man. Like, cause I feel like when it comes to like music on the West Coast, I feel like we got some of the greatest musicians and producers, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. And I feel like we should be able to share that knowledge with the mm -hmm. younger generation because, like, for me, I listen to LA artists and we sound like everybody else. Mm. We sound like, we sound like Detroit. We sound like the South, like, we need our, like, bro, G-Funk, P-Funk, all that. That's, that's our sound, that's, bro. That's you. We that's must you. keep that alive. Like, we right, have right, to, bro. Right. That, and I, I try to, you know what I mean? Like, even when I'm, like, doing something, I don't know, out of the ordinary, musically, you know what I mean? I'll always incorporate some type of funk in there mm -hmm. to let you know, like, yeah, I'm going all the way over here, but I'm still from L.A. It's don't get it twisted, yeah. you know what I mean? yeah. I feel like with that said, I got to let people know as well. We're bringing this together. Oh, yeah. You got two producers here. Man. And the rappers. Man. And the artists. Man. And the creatives. And they're just God given talent to be with. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate and, it. And I'm saying that for myself too, but I yeah, got to I gotta tell my brothers that. You are. So, what we're doing with Ron saying that, and Tim, how he feels with the music and elevating to that next level, and you trying to unify that sound back. Yeah. I was like, you know what? And it wasn't me. It was everybody all together. It's time. Yeah. It's time that we make something. Mm -hmm. And it's time that even if it's content-wise that they see that, okay, we make music, but we're more than just music. We're more yeah, than yeah, just yeah. artists. We are people yeah. with in-depth conversation, and we, we can dive deep inside. And yeah. y'all going to get it outside watching this. So we're going to make this music happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, and I'm, and I'm gonna be like, that's what it is. So, yo, I'm Tim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to you, uh, Dirt. So, you won whammies, mm -hmm. man. Congratulations on that. Yeah, PC. Man. That's dope as hell to me. It's a wonderful <laughs> thing, man. That's dope. And, it's a and, wonderful and, thing. And yet, and still, yes, it's still like how y'all was saying. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to sidetrack what you were saying, but yes. I, I just thought about like. It's the same way in DC and the DMV is that motherfuckers yeah. don't sound like themselves. Man. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It, it, now, in that area, go go is the type of music that always had a stronghold, but you do have a very strong hip hop community in DC, DMV area. Mm. And that shit really isn't fully represented mm. because of the way the industry is going as a whole. So everybody thinks, oh, that's the model. We got to do that. Exactly. So it's like, you know, when you're trying to be one of those voices that's like, yo, I don't sound like none of that shit. Man, mm -hmm. I sound like this. Man. Man. All right. But you still have your roots in it. Like you said, you know, for him, it's the West Coast roots. For me, it's the roots of being from the District of Columbia. Okay. And there's a spirit that's behind Go Go that might be in my music more so mm -hmm. than you're actually hearing like the particular percussion done in that way. But the point of it all is just like, look, I'm not willing to change my sound to sound like other niggas just so I can get a fast track into it. Like, mm -hmm. you know, being 45, most people count you out of the game. Like, if it's another sport, if you're at 45, it's like, oh, this motherfucker's done and shit, right? You're youthful, bro. But you for me, man, yeah, it's man, like, for me, man. it's like, look, my my spirit is is mm -hmm. is. It stays wherever it is. It's mm -hmm. not going to be old at no point. I can mm -hmm. see that because most people my age, they've already kind of settled into like a certain structure. 
that forbids them to be but so young. It forbids them to act immature. It, and it's like, nigga, you ain't perfect. Man. So I don't pretend to do that shit, but I, it's like I said, I have the hunger of a 20-year-old. I have the hunger of a 30-year-old. Yeah. So I know, like, I take examples from people that I'm inspired by, Miles Davis and Jazz. Mm. At a certain point, Man. he saw the music changing, not just in jazz, but outside. It was like, all right. True. Let me go get the young dudes that's doing the next thing. So let me incorporate them in my band. He went and got people that turned into Herbie Hancock. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, you know, other people from his band, Wayne Shorter, that went on to do their own thing. But they made Miles sound stay where it could be digested by people saying. in their age group right. as well as older people. And there's no you know what I'm saying? Now, I probably just went around in a circle. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? There's there's no, no. There's, there's, that, like, that needed to be, not, not to interrupt you, go ahead, but like, I, like, I tell my girl all the time, I'm like, when, when this music gets to where it needs to be, and there's going to be people coming to us, interviewing us, all this other stuff, I want to talk about music. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Nothing else is going on. I want to talk about who got beef with who. I don't want to yeah, play into that, that shit. Is irrelevant. Yeah, it's, it's I don't want to play into it. So, so like, white, so like, dirt mentioning Miles Davis. You don't hear that no more. You don't hear people talking about who inspired them. And and it's almost like a and it, and it's not a person that's a hip hop. Yeah, rap, right, you know right, saying? right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So mm -hmm. it's like it's like. Especially like the younger generation, it's almost taboo to say like, "Yeah, I got influenced by these people before me," and it's there's no problem with that. Like all, all my influence are people who are probably not even alive anymore, mm -hmm. but those are my. That's who I look at my yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I'm, I'm I one day want to top 1999 Prince album, yeah, or yeah. I want to top Michael Jackson's Thriller, or I want to top yeah, you know what I mean? Fire, Catch a Fire, uh, freaking Uprising, Survival, Bob Marley had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, just letting y'all know. Just letting y'all know. But y'all heard it. Why it happened? You man, know what I'm saying? That, yeah, yeah, that that right there too. That's another thing right there. You know what I mean? But like, like, I, like one thing, like I always got to give it up to the people before me because I wouldn't be doing this without them. Right. Being that kid, you know, being with my dad and he have all these vinyls, LPs, and just I'm getting exposed to all this music. You know what I mean? Like from Talking Heads to freaking James Brown to. Uh, Fella Cootie, like, bro, like, the list goes on. Like, all these artists, Lucky so it's Dubé. just, it's Lucky Dubé. Lucky Dubé, bro. Man, man, man. Lucky Dubé, bro. Like, just, like, all that, peace, all that, rest in peace, man. All that music, man, like, I was just exposed to. So, I, I try to incorporate that because it, it brings me, like, it's joy for me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To to see myself like, yo, I could do that. Yeah, I could stop, make music like stop that. Stop it. You said joy. Ah. That's my daughter's Hold name. The, oh, word? Mm -hmm. Blessings to your daughter. Yeah. Man. I'm going to get to joy, you know? love. You said that word, joy. Man. And you know, if, if I say this, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, oh, hey, he don't understand. No, motherfucker, I do understand, right? So I'm going to say this. I don't see joy in this game. Yeah, niggas are afraid. Man, I don't see the joy. I see, joy. Yeah. I see, I see, I see you know what I mean? Niggas are afraid of Look love. Look at this. Look, Talk about yeah. it, I see this. I'm about, you know... Killing each other, man. That's the messaging. Instead of be like, yo, man, because it's the it's, re it's, that's the result of fear, man. Niggas who shoot niggas, niggas can't niggas, communicate. Niggas who shoot niggas to solve the problem are afraid of something. If you walk in the streets, and again, I understand the game, nigga. We don't have to go into right, all of right, that. Right, right, right. When you not street and all this shit, like I always tell niggas, if I grew up across the street from you, man, and I had to walk the same streets as you, like go to the same schools, you go to the same corner stores, the same, I had to dodge the same neighborhoods <laughs> and man, facts. crews or gangs or sets, depending on what city you come from, then how am I not a street? Oh, you saying because I didn't do the dumb shit. Right, right. So it's an emphasis on dumb shit nowadays. And then it's like, Man, wisdom ain't got to be young or old, but right, don't, man. you know, like, if we're in this time period where everything is about, oh, you old as shit, bro, you old as shit, bro, you old as shit, bro, and somebody, somebody said to me, it was like, you know what's worse than being old? Not getting old. Man. Mm. Man. Yeah, because you got smoked, or because yep. the nigga gave you life in prison, because, yeah, it's like, y'all put emphasis on dumb shit, wow. so yep. where are the people that's going to put emphasis on nigga be happy? 
Man, man, make sure your family's That's okay. That's what we gonna do. Uh, yeah, we don't got don't to. fuck up your community. Like, right? with put emphasis on that shit and still be dope. Still be able to sell. There ain't gonna yeah. be no corny niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 like, they, they think like a, a message like that, oh, he corny because he ain't drill somebody. I'm like, yo, what you... I quote yo. Lupe, man. They overdosing on the cool. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. just all it is, bro. They overdosing on And they're on not the themselves. Yeah, and it's like, man, like, I feel like, especially like here in LA, bro, like it just blows my mind because mm -hmm. we got to a point, I want to say like in the, I think I talked to you about this, but like in the late, 2000s, early 2000s. Um, like we was kind of getting away from that. The whole like killing and all that stuff. Like it was, it was there, you know what I mean? But it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as it is now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like gangsters got on a, on a hustle. You know what I mean? Was trying to make money and like, you know, make a change out this shit. And I can curse, right? All right, yeah, make some change out this shit, man. And uh, you know, I think, I think after losing Nipsey, it's just the reset. Mm -hmm. and, and here we are again and um, yeah. going back this shit ain't cool man I don't, I don't care I don't know about how everybody look at it I don't care how they feel about it bro like that shit is fucked up bro yeah. gang banging killing each other bro like it's fucked up bro and it's leaking into everything bro it's leaking into everything and and they just they paint us blacker than we are with that shit bro see and the key sad. is this you're saying this shit not as a yeah, man, fuck all y'all niggas. That, no, you saying it because you love yeah. the people that's dying. Yeah, yeah. man. I, mean, I don't I care if you friends, make a certain man. type of music, but if that music is a soundtrack to you actually dying, yeah, because it's 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 making you feel like certain activity is okay. Yeah. Like I said, it's a lot of OGs that tell you. A lot of them OGs that's down here on the ground that have survived man. the 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 killings of the eighties, and the nineties, and the two thousands, and like you said, because it comes in waves yeah. that are still here. Um, a good chunk of them will tell you, yeah, that shit was zero. Mm -hmm. They you not going to tell, tell you. They not. They going to tell you that it was zero. That it was. It was not good. It was that that shit was not worth it. All that time that was lost. All these motherfuckers that are in various cemeteries in L.A. It takes a toll. Yeah, that's and, and people th it, and it's it still and like I said, the motherfuckers are getting younger, mm -hmm. either dying younger or or doing the shooting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like. And then you got older motherfuckers that know better that yeah, you act you acting motherfuckers on and shit. You talking this you talking this my little man shit, man. my and I can pay mm -hmm. my little man. I can pay my little shooter. Yo, fuck that shit. Yeah. Why don't you teach that nigga how to not do something? Man, fucked up? nigga man. teach him a trade or something. Man, something. It's just a thought. Something. And no, no, teach him how to get, how, how to get legal money, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Cuz that's set up that set up shit, yo. It's it's for family. Cuz what if man? you teach him how to live and he teaches one the of next. his homies how to man. live? Oh, and man. then it's spring boys and then the next thing you know Damn, it's a big ass ceasefire going across th this city, and now that shit went to that city, mm -hmm. and then to this state. But then, then check it though, you got you got some people out there that remain in that ignorance, right? And they hate those type of people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, they always they, try they, to spread that positivity. Because yeah. if then, it stops, then what you got left to do? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Like, right. That's you gotta, exactly. you gotta look at yourself. And it's exactly. a whole like, I gotta communicate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta communicate with somebody, and that's that's the thing that's missing: communication. Man. You see what I'm saying? Like it's very, it's it's common sense, but it's not so common amongst a lot of these people. A lot. You see of, what I'm saying? A lot of us, black men, we deal with emotion from a, a female standpoint, mm -hmm. and that's not a knock on females, but we get angry so fast, bro, and then we want to turn to violence so quick to go handle that situation. It's like, bro, like telling somebody, yo, I'm sorry, bro, I fucked up, my bad. That does nothing to your character, bro. I bump, I bump, I bump, dude. Oh, yo, man, that does nothing to your character. Doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less of yeah. a man, bro. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, we, we really gotta learn how to how to deal with situations and not turn it so negative so quick, bro. We we gotta stop that. We have to because it. <laughs> we just gonna keep killing each other. It's gonna go on and on and on. It ain't gonna stop. Let me ask you. Both of you guys question. You guys can answer. Whoever wants to answer first, that's fine. With everything that's going on in the game, and you guys are very passionate about what's going on amongst the music and amongst these artists as well. With everybody dying, you know, with all this bullshit ass news that we be seeing. Man. 
has that affected the art for you, for y'all, in a way? By seeing your peers. Yeah, by seeing, I know, but it, Like, does it, does it be like, damn, but do I want to do this? Oh, man, well, this shit is whack. Like, what, how do you feel, man? What, 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 I feel man? twofold, man. I feel like seeing it, it unfortunately and fortunately inspires what I'm doing. Mm. Because I'm reporting. Man. See, other niggas report from the position of I was in the game. Mm -hmm. I was in the feds for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I was in county jail for this. I'm reporting from the perspective of every time that shit could have happened to me, the creator was like, nope, Man. I have another purpose for you. <laughs> and I'm talking about at the edge, oh. like people, like I said, assume shit because you're not, you know, you're not active. Man, you know, people assume that you've never, and it's like, man, trust me, a lot of y'all have no fucking clue of the, the shit that I've stood in the middle of, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Like, the, you know, the various barrels that have been in front of my face, some metaphoric, some real, but it, it makes me write about certain shit because I'm like, yo, I mean, yeah, it's a couple people that kind of speak a little bit and say, yeah, this shit is fucked up, but... I don't really hear it in the way that I used to hear it when I was coming up. Mm. And it's not about it being no preachy shit. It's just about, first of all, nigga, can you rock more? Man. Because if you can, then you should be able to put it in a way that's digestible to people so they can be like, oh, shit, like, damn, this motherfucker actually said some shit about something that didn't make me feel fucked up. And even if he was talking about something fucked up, it was about where's the light at the end of the shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like, hey, man... If you don't want to go towards the light at the end of this shit, man, let me paint a picture for you of the dark ass tunnel that you're about to be in. Yeah, facts. Hey. No, because again, like I said to somebody the other day, I'm standing in the fucking bathrooms at Venice Beach, and them shits are designed just like jail cells. Man. Like legit. Like they look like you're, if you just closed your ears and it wasn't. This, the the, beach the sound, noise the of the beach and motherfuckers who are hyped to see Venice Beach for the first time and people who come there every fucking day and all and you close your ears and try to imagine them sounds of fucking you know niggas arguing and shit motherfuckers who got mental problems going crazy and shit it's like man is this shit programming Every, I, I, like, I look at that shit was like, that is it, like this is very strange that anyway but like I said not to go off the deep end but just no, my no. point is this that shit inspires me to write it makes me feel sad that this shit is happening it makes me wonder if me being one of these voices if motherfuckers would try to borrow Marley me man at some point and come looking for me like oh yo he talking about how we can get out of this shit yo we need to silence him but then I keep saying to myself, like, yeah, but Bob had to do that shit regardless. Yeah, he was saying mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was probably in several fucking situations where it was like, yo, man, somebody can take this dude out at any time. Man. And he had to keep going. You know man. what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at when with it as far as... pay attention. Man. I think, I, think when it, I think when it comes down to things like that, that's when you gotta ask yourself that question. Are you willing to die for this shit? Yeah. And when you... Once you accept that shit, I think it's you just walk around fearless. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing can stop you. Not even death. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you know you're on a mission, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm sure, like, well, Bob Marley even said, you know, he's like, man, I know my music will go on forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. this guy's been gone almost 40 years, and his music is relevant today. Every single one of them songs. Man. He didn't miss. You know what I mean? He did not it's miss. Still, he did not yeah. miss. I'm like, I listen to his music like the gospel because mm -hmm. it, it is you know what I mean mm -hmm. like especially yeah. for, for a black man you know what I mean coming up in America like we need to hear that we yeah. need to know the roots we need to know about what's going on in Africa mm -hmm. we need to know what's happening in Africa how we can save Africa because we need to save Africa mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody said yeah. we have to That's save true. Africa bro because if it all came down to it and we gotta go home Tomorrow, where are we going if ain't no Africa? Yeah, yeah you about to open up a can of worms, yo. And, but but, you know what I'm but let the cans needed. let the cans open up, bro. Yeah, like nobody want to talk about the real shit that's going on in the world, bro. Somebody got to like like I'm 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 tired of this whole like 
oh, we gotta watch what we say. Why? Yeah, no, yeah. no, why? No, no. Yeah. No, you know what I mean? Sure. For what? Like, why, why y'all? Has, why, why we got it? Why the truth? Because they be don't. Because the niggas don't watch what they say. When they talking about death and destruction, niggas yeah, they don't do give not watch. They don't what care. They, say. they don't care. When niggas is taunting each other, yep. trying to get pull up on me, and here go my address and all this shit. And yeah, niggas ain't watching what they say when they talking about Sad, death. Man. So, what do we? What no, do we but to answer your question that you that you that Tim had answered. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I don't feel like it affects the music, but it affects me in a certain way because a lot of people, well, not even a lot of people, but a few artists in the past, I don't know, couple years, been getting killed in LA. You yeah. know what I mean? And it, it does make me feel bad because it's like, you're like, LA, we're not just about that. It's not just about murder and killing and gang banging and robbing. Mm -hmm. It ain't just that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's different vibes. Like, you got skaters that's cool as hell. You got rockers that are cool as hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody, there's a time where everybody just got along. You know, everybody just vibing and chilling. But, you know, it, it, it bothers me in a sense because it's like, damn, man. It's like rappers come here and I don't know if they got this, this type of illusion of what they think LA is or whatever. And they end up coming here and never go home. Yeah. That is fucked up. You know what I mean? That's sad. Like the whole P and B rock shit. Like, yeah, we could blame pop, we pop smoke. Pop smoke. We could blame whatever you want to blame, whatever, who put the address, whatever, bro. But like somebody's just coming here to just and like live their life, bro, and you get it taken away. Mm -hmm. Especially coming from a hood. You know what I mean? For whatever background you came from mm -hmm. and trying to get away from that. Yeah. And then to you, walk that shit still it. yeah, it's still there. Mm -hmm. That stigma, bro, is sad. Let me uh speaking of the stigma. All right, um, I have a friend, grew up with him. It's like my brother, right? Yeah. He's here for business. He had to go back home to Miami real quick. Yeah. But I've only been here five years. Yeah. But I understand the rundown. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, here in LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure you got to watch your 12, 3, mm -hmm. 6, All of and 9. The back and your front. Bro. You feel what and I'm saying? All, northwest, Southwest, you know what I mean? East, West. So I gave him the rundown, right? And he's just like, yo, that's crazy. How are how you living here? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, there's a greater purpose. I don't let like the outside interference destroy, destroy or disturb mm -hmm. my goals. You True. see what I'm saying? True. And I have before, but I just don't listen to the outside noise, man. But for yeah, something... All that is just going to put fear upon your mind. Yeah, yeah and man. it's everywhere, and, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not just... Like you, uh, but for here, it's it's like, it's, it's unfortunately... And it's, it's, it's not highlighted. everywhere at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Because, yeah. like true. you said, that's not every aspect of it. Even when you dealing with that part of the world, meaning the street side of the world, um, for LA, the gang side, and I'm not speaking for nobody because I'm not from yeah. no world, yeah. but I'm just saying yeah. there's another side to it other than violence. There's a side to it that is about community. There's a side yeah. that is just about love for man that's the dude i know his grandmother i know you know what i'm saying like the sad part is when it's split and it's now like damn i can't i might be at war with my cousin man you man. know what i'm saying because he grew up and like i said people, man people think like man like i've been in the middle of my cousins being from a neighborhood that most of my cousins are from on my father's side and me being from down the street and as you get older, motherfuckers get into more and more shit. And I just happen to be like Ronnie said, like, I'm cool with some of these people. I'm cool, cool with some of these people. And I've you been in a situation some, where man. it was some, it was, it was some, 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 uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. Firearm <laughs> involved. Right. Yeah, I mean, and it, yeah, I mean. it could have been something. Right, right. But right. for some reason, God, again, was like, I got a higher purpose. This shit is not going down like that. So it's man. to say the same thing that's happening where I'm from. Happening over here. Yep. If you learn how to move in one, mm -hmm. you should know how to move in the everywhere. Other. Exactly, you know and that's that's what I really told him. Because I was like, together. I was like, yo, you you in Miami? So first thing I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, you it's got wild. hurricanes. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. So how? Yeah, and it's wild too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's wild anyway. Yeah, you just it's that energy that you have. You know, and if, that if, if you come off as if you come as off you as looking like, for the smoke, yeah, then you gonna get it. Or if you come off naive too, and you don't know. Yeah. You have no clue of the smoke or Man. what the smoke is, exactly. then it's gonna find you too. So, so with that said, though, we gonna we gonna line it up a little bit, yo. 
what does make you happy? Anybody? Anybody? Man. Anybody? Let's start. What's, what's, For me, what makes me happy? What, what makes you happy? Man? I feel like what makes me happy is people being happy. Mm. I think that's, that's genu- genuinely what makes me happy. And if I can brighten someone's day, make someone laugh or smile or do something, you know what I mean, every day, like, like my grand, it's all good. Like my grandmother said, um, she said, uh, every day in life, make sure you try to do a good deed. And I try to live by that. You know what I mean? Like if it's, if I can, whatever, whatever opportunity presents itself where I can help somebody, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? That's just who I am. And, um, I don't, I don't want nothing in return. I just like seeing people smile. Like I've been in situations where someone needed food, you know what I mean? I, and I was eating, I felt bad. Like I can't just, I can't just sit here and eat and this mm-hmm. person needs something to eat, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I got money, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I don't look at it like that. I look at it like, well, if I bless somebody, I want somebody to bless me or bless somebody who's close to me who might need it, you know what I mean? I try yeah. to put that type of energy out there, bro. But that and just being able to vibe with people, bro, meeting new people that can show me different things, new things that I've never seen before, you know, creating, like, linking up with y'all, bro, like, linking up with you guys, like, that right there is like, man, all right, it's it's like, it's a new world, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, for even for me, like, I'm, I'm like, all right, so we about to do music and shit, we about to get this popping. So for me, in my mind, I'm like, all right, I need to go study. The DMV. I need to go. I need frills and, and and DC and all that. I need to go, go watch and see what's going on out there. I need to learn the history of that because mm. when it comes to time to create, I want to tap into that mm. and bring mm. my world to that too. Yeah, you feel me? So, so that's so that type of stuff right there makes me happy, man. That's what brings me joy. What you what you say? You put you gonna put some go go and G funk on that I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 man. man that's, that's, you know what I mean? That's why. Who knows? You, I'm gonna get too much, but we we gonna we gonna bring that sound. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we about to. That's we about it. I'm just I'm just over here, here like this. Too, man. We about I'm, to just, I'm just over here like this. I'm like, like, like they don't know. Like look, listen, bro. Like I listen, <laughs> you I listen, I listen to a lot of your music, man. And, Talk about it. And like I realize that your voice is a rhythm section in music. Mm-hmm. Like. That's deep. Yeah, like I like I listen to some of your patterns and your rhyme schemes, and it's it becomes a rhythm section in music. So I'm listening to it from that point. I'm like, damn, like, uh, what's the line you had? Uh, cycle, like Michael, nigga, leave me alone. That 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 mm-hmm. that 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 that's mm-hmm. jazzy, bro. That's that jazzy. Hey, oh, that's that's jazzy, 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 bro. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? So like, yeah. when I'm 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 listening to all these little details, and I'm like, okay, I was like, for sure, I was like, I gotta I gotta I gotta get with this guy. I gotta make something happen. I gotta like this. Gotta go down. You know, you my, me? my bro said a long time ago. He said what? He said you know everybody kind of like follows suit with whatever, mm-hmm. whatever's going on in yeah, yeah. in music. Period. Right. Yeah. But let's just talk about hip hop. So he said he said yo one day I was like all right, well, what if you tried to rap how John Coltrane played? See. So that it, it becomes a thing where you're forever trying to find new patterns Man. to rap, yep. and it's not yep. just every, it's not just a hundred niggas doing either the jump top, flow song, right? Right. And most of the right. And then, and then it's, what's what's the next flow will be a little bit faster than that. Right. 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 And then it's like then it's just three flows. It's like. Nigga, we can go outside of that. It's like, if you know how to rap, you should be able to keep dancing. For sure. If you a ball player, you should. I mean, I you know both. that legs wear out and all that <laughs> shit, but it's For still real. a way to kind. You know, yep. like I said, Mike might not have been Bulls Mike when he was with the Wizards, but he was still Mike. Yep. Still you know what I'm saying he's still Rhythm. coming in. Still in rhythm. Right. You know what I'm saying he wasn't averaging no like. 12 points a game. Right? I seen him. I saw him playing in DC and he was still yeah, dropping yeah. buckets. It's, sure. it's like sure. that with I'm music, cool. you should constantly be <laughs> able to do that. So, like, I try to approach rapping that way. Like, all right, well, what are niggas not doing right now? What do I not hear? Okay, I hear you, you flowing, but it feel like you got the same flow the mm-hmm. whole way through. And sometimes, Tell me why they do that. I think, one, because <laughs> it's working. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. selling. Yeah. Mm hmm. And that's for various people from, you know, the here to the here. Because mm-hmm. there's people at different levels of that shit that are winning. Yeah. 
And I think once you find something that works, whether it's a, 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 a cadence with rapping or a particular style of like a pattern of drum beat or particular sounds and drums that people keep using, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then people stick with that shit. So it's yep. just like, like you said, reggae came out of nowhere, man. It was yeah. like, and it's everybody used to dog that shit. Like, oh, well, it sounds like the same thing every yeah, time. It's yeah. like, that's because you're not listening. Everyone thinks they can play right oh, no. until they try to play. Oh, until you try to play. Give me a sing. Yeah. Everybody jacking everybody, right? Yeah. Everybody jacking everybody. <laughs> it wasn't a thing. Listening to music in the nineties, you had to be your own oh, type man. of dude. Even the eighties, you had to be your own you type would, of bro, dude. You would, that'd get you beat day, up. Day, <laughs> day, you know what I mean? <laughs> man, yeah. jump. The jacking is crazy. You know, I'm I'm glad the artists you know y'all doing whatever y'all want to do, but I mean like yeah, if you're it sounding works, like you know, yeah, it, it works. <laughs> no, it works. That's cool, but like on the artist standpoint and just being an originator, I don't see that man. How we going into the future with it? That's all, that, man. Because right? it's like at some point this style. That's going on right now. This sound where it's like either it's drill or it's this. Mm -hmm. Even the R and B still has the same elements of the hip hop with the eight oh eight, the kicks, the Five high hats. Yeah. yeah, so Even it's just like all right, the ass now. It's like <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> no. why, like I said, like, <laughs> yeah. you got R and B cats. Yeah, they like, just singing like this with hoodies on. Man, like, man. I'm about to drill. They be like, man. I'm about to drill you, nigga. Right. Like, I'm like, yo, how you find the melody is killing the nigga? Like, you know what I mean? Like a whole time, like yo, what happened to the love? Like yo, people were blasting Diddy. Talking when he was like, yo, R&B dead. And I was just like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm an R&B head. And it I is, though. And I'm going to be honest. It is, though. It is. And especially coming from him, because he, who did he produce, man, yeah. Jay? Yeah. Right? He was there. Like, yeah. that 90s, that was, man, the love is gone. The love, think, is, the love is gone I think, everywhere. I think, we, I think they got away from the definition of R&B, and that's rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. We talked about, that's we the said problem. rhythm, right? They ain't got blues in there. Ain't shit. no blues in there. <laughs> or, rhythm, or rhythm. Damn. Every, it everybody like, like it's either it's either you gonna have girl problems in your song, yeah, and you uh, gonna talk about how you gonna smash the next girl because you got girl problems, or That's or weird. the girl has dude problems, or the girl has dude problems. Like, come on, bro. Like, yo, like, yeah. If I had another song of somebody <laughs> talking about like. Nigga, you didn't call me. <laughs> right? I, I saw your DMs earlier. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Like, yo, come on, man. It's like, all right. It was hey, cool. you can come up with a song like yo, that, nigga. That's all right. See, that's problematic. That's an anthem, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's pro you said it's problematic because it's shit with that. It's going to sell records. See, yeah. that's the problem right there. Don't see, listen to him. Don't listen, gonna, to him. But, 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 don't listen to that. But, but you see, listen that. to him, but don't listen to that. But it's going to sell records. See, that's the problem. That's another Fuck thing right there. Look, look, that's the thing right there. You got, you got, you got, you got niggas around that's, that's groupies and like, bro, that shit hard. No, it ain't. Yeah, that yeah, shit nobody, ain't hard. They ain't no. They ain't no no, no, no man. They, 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 look, man. they ain't See? no no man. Like no. look, look. They ain't no nigga. If if a nigga's on his shit, right? He got niggas under them, and they put this shit on and be like, oh, yo, yo, that's hot. Put that out. Let, let me tell you. Know, tell we you gotta be story. real with each other. If it's trash, it's trash. You told me one time, man. Hold up. You told me one time. Listen, I I I wasn't mad at this nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, I haven't been rapping in a minute, but look, I have to get real opinions from real niggas. Mm -hmm. He heard me spit, he was like, yo, it's all right, but yo, you got to change up those three bars at the top. Mm -hmm. The three bars, not four. He gave me an odd number. I said, why? <laughs> he said, change those three bars at the top. And I was like, yo, I respect that. Because you know in, in the middle, in the middle, that's where you get criticism. Mm -hmm. That's where you building up. That's where you cooking. And, yeah. and guess what? The I, fourth bar is usually like your, and your climax. Yeah. But the thing right? is, but the thing is going on today. Oh nigga, you ain't rock with me. Oh, you hate nigga. Like I could have easily yeah. been like, I, I could have been like, yo, man, fuck you, Ron. Yeah. But I knew where I knew where you came from as a brother. Like, look, just change up this and that. Hey, yeah. come, come, come. Um, Cause I've, I've heard, I've it. heard. I told, I told Kill. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even know how I ended up with a couple. Of, I think he sent me a couple of tracks, and then like it ended up on my iTunes and my Apple Music. Yeah. So it was in my phone, right, and it'll, right. it'll pop up all the time. Right, right. And I'm gonna listen to it. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, yo, okay. I see where he was going with this. I see what he's trying to do with this. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, hey, bro, we need to we need to get in the lab, bro. Like, 
We need to get in the yeah, lab. I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. You know what I mean? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm it's, coming it's, back. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Go old, ahead. An old, old friend of mine, who shall remain nameless. Mm. We was, we was, we was, uh, we was going somewhere. And, uh, Shaq. it was me, my girl. Shaq, no, no. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> he said, Shaq. Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we're going somewhere. I think we're going like Dave and Buster's or something like that. And right, it was right. me, my girl, him and his girl. And I don't know why he did this, but he decided to play a certain song that he did and ask me, what did I think about it? It wasn't me. No. I said the next friend. And I I was honest. I was like, yo, this shit, nah, bro. It's not the one. Side. This, this, this is in front of his girl? In front of his girl. Nah, you, come on, man. Hey, bro, why you don't like it? But you know, you know when we do that, you know, I think, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's real. <laughs> no, you're a real nigga for that. But like, you a real nigga for that. But that was his girl. He'd be like, yo, so come on, man. Don't, don't do that shit from my girl. But bro. he knows me. That's the thing. Like, he knows me. I'm going to be brutally honest, but bro. But you know what? He, hey, I, no, I rock with that. I rock with you. He's better than most that. people because <laughs> I, can, I can truly say as much as I try to be brutally honest, I have a, I don't know if it's a compassion mechanism. I don't mm. know if it's, what is it? Because that might be a, a, a way for me to psych myself out as true, to what true. it really is. True. But I have been guilty numerous times of listening to somebody's shit. And even as of probably months ago. And being like, and they were like, yo, check this joint out. And maybe there were elements of it that were great, but then it was like, part, it was like, you know what? Um, I don't even think you should do this at all. Like, did you say that? No. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally. Hey, look. Did you say that? I just sat. Look, I sat there and I was just like, yeah, hey, man. man. I was like, hey, sh- yeah, you just keep doing that. No, <laughs> no and it's like, <laughs> if really, I heard that, and you should heard really that, be like, yo, man, young, don't do this keep anymore. Doing that. Like, if I, when you hear shit like that, you know there's something in you like, yo. Now, someone's rocking with the jump dude, and they're like, yo, yo. Like, yeah. when I was listening to this nigga's beats for the first time, I was like, I said, why is this nigga here? This nigga mm-hmm. should be, mm-hmm. you know? I'm mm-hmm. like, God. Yeah. And I heard your beats when I heard you rap. I said, what the fuck? You remember? Mm-hmm. I heard this nigga rap. And Bro. this nigga, this nigga is so humble. He got, he got a battle rap background. You know what I mean? Oh, he, don't want, he don't want to put that up. See? 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 Yeah. yeah. So when I was listening, I said, the fuck? He, even when he was listening to my shit, he's like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. look, I've, yeah, I've been watching caffeine, though. But it's my shit. I, I have no watching caffeine, but I'll be, I do. Right, right. So I'll be tapping in, bro. Yeah, I'll be, be, I, I be tapping into all nah, that. Nah, man, bro. look, look. I, I feel like we, we got to let it be. Yeah, uh, and it, it, even you if something is trash, like so, I I feel you, but I was just joking about. I mean, I've had I've going. had my moments where I'm of like, course. but see, this is okay. So I'll be honest with you, if I'm I got invited to somebody's session, their crib or whatever, and they're playing a song or whatever, and I'm not even working with you or nothing, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's we gotta play. We gotta yeah. play the because I don't, don't want to be a hater either. I don't want to come off as a hater. I'll give you the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But like, if we like you, my boy. And we close. And like, that's the thing. Look, yeah. look I, if, I, I, be if I hear the verse and I'm like this, man, man. But if I'm like, if I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's like, yo, <laughs> that, it was, that, yeah. but, hey, I'm going where my journal at. I gotta go back. To, <laughs> you got, you know, niggas like, yo, like, okay, but this is just like, and see, and I, I expect that. <laughs> I expect my homies to be that same with me. Like, not even just music, just in general, bro. Like, if I'm you catch me out there, and I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do, bro. If you my homie, you supposed to be like, hey, bro, what you doing? Like, yo, what you doing, bro? What you doing out here? What you, like, if you really love somebody, bro, you want the best for them. That's yeah, just what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You really love somebody, you want the best for them. If you mm-hmm. don't give a shit, then whatever, bro. Like, let them go do whatever you're going to do. But yeah. if I got love for you, bro, I'm going to be like, yo, man, you slipping. And I expect that. Come from your brothers and you know sisters what I mean? to be like, look, yeah. man, I thought niggas I ain't talking to right now because, like, we don't have communication. It's, I'm thinking it's like this, mm-hmm. and, like, it's not. No. Mm-hmm. What do you think we can accomplish with the, uh, with this music thing? That we what we can just, accomplish? What, what, do you, what, what do you want to accomplish? <laughs> not, not what can uh, you. What, what do you want? Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. 
Tell me what's going to happen. We're going to change the way people hear music. Yeah. That's mm. all. We're going to change the way how people hear music. We're going to change the way how people view music, how people do music. And I'm not worried about fans and all that stuff. It's going to reach who it needs to reach. Right. And that's how it's going to do. It's going to do whatever it needs to do. That's, and that's and that's how it is. Like, for me, Dirt, like, when I hear you rap, bro, I get, like, I feel like you're a mixture of, and, and more than this, but, like, the two that come to my mind, it's like Gil Scott Heron and wow. MF2. That's wow. Crazy. That's the right. Wow. Because, Gil's, because, wow. because it's, That's, because, because, it's, okay, so, so. That's Gil, a hell of a combination. Wow. So, Gil Scott That's Heron, with, thing, like, man. we almost lost Detroit, right? Mm -hmm. When I hear, when I hear you rap, that same type of hunger, that same type of love for his city mm -hmm. comes mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's deep, bro. It's like, it's not, I'm not just listening to a rapper rap. It's like, I'm listening to his poetry, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? His life lesson poetry that he's given to the world. But then the MF Doom, because it's a, it's like your skill set is so different from everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like a lot of fools, a lot of fools and, and, and niggas, whoever listen to music, do not understand MF Doom like that. Mm -hmm. They don't get MF Doom. You know what I mean? Even me, when I first heard MF Doom, I, I kind of was, was like, yo, what am I listening to? Yeah, but after you... But when I kept listening, I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. whoa, mm -hmm. whoa. Oh, way. hold yeah. on, like, what are you no doing one caught here? It. Mm -hmm. No one's called it Like, shit. what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. You're you're incorporating anime and hip-hop mm -hmm. and, and old school shows and yeah. sampling mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. and then higher sampling them, like, um, um, Super. Yeah, that, that song. Yo, with, with when JJ you realized that I, you know, and I just caught that 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 the drums. I knew the super was from Supersonic. Yeah, but I didn't know that the. <laughs> yeah, right. I like, didn't know he took those and made that the drums for the song was like, yo, this is crazy. But then you crazy. put the Anita Baker, yes, over top of it. Like, that's like, what? See, that's what I'm. That's, and no that's one other right than there. Doom would have done that. That right there is what I'm talking about. Is there anybody today that has that certain feel? In hip hop? Yeah. Or music in overall? Whatever. I, this guy has it, for sure. Colombo Black. Colombo Black. He turned me, he, he turned me on his music, yeah. Mm. Colombo Black has it. Maestro has it. Mm -hmm. Like these dudes, pen game is just out of this world. You know what I mean? And, and like, even for me, like, I saw some I, man, I had to learn. Like I had to learn. Like because, like, yeah, I, I do like to rap. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just a person that like creates whatever he's feeling at that moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But but I had to learn. Like yo, I gotta get in that producer bag, and sometimes I gotta take that back seat and just build that beat and let that artist take it to where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. Because some people just really, really just got it. Like, and I'm not saying I don't. I feel like I'm good for what I do. But, yeah. like, I listen these wordsmiths, because that's who you guys are. Like, I, I, I listen to how you guys break down bars, syllables, triple, double entendres. Like, that is your, your craft. And so, as a producer, it's like, okay, I, I have to challenge them in a way, you know what I mean, to bring out the best in them. But yet, I also want... The right lyrics to polish this beat, yeah. To, to put the wax on the beat mm -hmm. to make this shit shine, and I feel like there's there's a selective few, like even like um, Griselda. Mm -hmm. I, I like Griselda. Now Griselda, I'm not saying that their pen is up there with dirt. You know what I mean? Because i and that's not a knock to them, but they're in just that lane that they do, right? Where they it's, found that they lane, found that lane you know? it's working for them, and yep. it's, it's you know what I mean that's just what it's gonna be. Of course. Um, same with like Action Bronson. Yeah. And that's and I love those dudes. They make great music. You know what I mean? There's, there's gonna be but more it's than war. We, yeah. It's it's it's, it's, it's it's levels. It's levels yeah. to it that only a selective few can take it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, Kendrick Lamar is another one of them. Uh, Kendrick. I know a lot of people probably wasn't feeling this last album, but to me, I'm like, yo, this is genius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is like oh, that a, was a, that joint was like yeah. it was like it's, it's like a movie, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the way how it was put together, everything, mm -hmm. like just and that's what I'm talking about. Like just thinking outside the box and just to create something, man. Like let's you know what I mean. Let's just create whatever it is we're feeling, even if it feels like it's wrong. Like I, I ain't even gonna front. 
Um, that joint I did, uh, the remix for Nora Jones. Don't know why. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, when we before we leave, remind me to play yeah. you what I did with that joint. Okay, okay, bet, bet, bet. So <laughs> the drums on there, the drum is not on point. The snare is a little off. But isn't that what happens with the real drummer? But that's what Every happens with the real drummer. drummer. Nobody knows it, but that, that is shit not went on off. point. Or it went a little. He his tempo slowed up a yep. little bit, and he had to catch up. Like, and and at first I used to be, when I was working with this this other producer, we were supposed to be a producer team. One time he told me he's like, "Yo, that drum sound off. I don't like it." I'm like, "Man, it sound off. I like it. I like that." You know what I mean? Like Jay Dilla was like that. J- Jay Dilla, yeah, Jay it's Dilla. not on the four count. Beat. But if you're listening, you can hear the one. You can hear the one. You can hear the one. And you can rap sure. on the jump. Yeah, yeah, bro. And so that's what I'm Gotta saying. Like, man, you, yeah, bro. I'm like, yo, yeah, like, man. it's always about feel, bro. Yeah. And if it it feels good, do it. That's that's how I look at it, man. Mm. Okay. And shout, line, and shout and out any to last all words, artists last that, that yeah, for just sure. mentioned because, for sure. because of them, there is space for this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because of Griselda. Yes. Shout out to Wes and Benny and Conway. Mm-hmm. Because of Kendrick. Yeah. Because of people like Joey Badass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's space for Freddy. that hip hop that, you know what I mean? Like, one thing I actually liked about the Kendrick album, and I don't know if he did this intentionally, but the joint with the, the sister... Fuck you, yeah, 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 that's the beat crazy. sounds like a Griselda S album. It sound Al Al, Al, Al did it, it, so it, that so. makes perfect sense. So yeah, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Shout out to Al, Rock Marcy, all mm-hmm. of those people Dang, Rock, are creating Rock, space man. for this shit. You man. know what I'm saying? But Rock that's where we man. come in in that. They like I said, they got that lane covered yeah. with the street and fusing the old soul samples mm-hmm. and yeah. all. That shit is they bringing that jazzy feel But then too. there's man. also, like I said, look, man, it wasn't just about, you know, Bob Marley. You had Peter Tosh. You yep. had Gregory Isaacs. Yep. You had Dennis Brown. You yep. had Bernie Spitt. Yep. It's, it goes. <laughs> so just still in, in any genre, you can say that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the same way with that, well, hip hop has to get back to more of variety, motherfucker. Yep. We can still have the same kind of, like I said, vibe because I, I, you know, that's what made me like Griselda was when I heard them. I heard myself in this shit. Right. It's just like, oh shit, that kind of feels that like what, I, what I'm fucking gonna, with right we now. We gonna you know get that we feeling. Gonna, gonna bring soon back. enough, it's but gonna the, be but, a but, legendary but, but same man though, featuring Griselda. Yo, I'm for that. Hey, I pray it's gonna for happen, that, man. It's like, gonna happen. We speaking into existence the right God, now. I love to do that shit, and that's why I had to bring this together. This is also about this shit, because like I said, I feel like it's gonna it's something. Trust me, I don't. When we hear it, we going. Go hear it. But yeah, yeah. it's something about the combination of him being from here and mm-hmm. rooted in that shit. But he's also rooted in, like I said, music that a motherfucker again, my age, is is usually listening to, or people older than me are listening to. Mm-hmm. He knows about that shit, mm-hmm. so he can mm-hmm. say he can make the mention of, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that shit sound like Gil Scott Heron and MF Doom. Because mm-hmm. some people are like. Jill Scott Heron, they like, they like, oh, you talking about Jill Scott? It's like, yeah. no, nah, Jill Scott, Scott Heron. Heron. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be something Legend. to be said about the combination of this West, West shit and me coming from the district, but being affected by the particular types of hip hop that I, that yeah, I yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I drew mostly from the East. But there's some other shit in my pen. Like it's yeah. some, like I said, Andre three thousand affected my pen just as much as Black Thought affected my pen. But man. then on the same front, man, as I'm listening now in my older years, I'm like, yo, Scarface affected your pen man. too, man. And, you know, Shout and, out and Busy Bone, and, man. And, you know what I'm saying? It's like I was just arguing the other day. Was like, yo, you know what, Busy Bone at his peak. Time yeah. and not to say that, that he's guy. he's peaked out because right. my Bone guy. did they my thing in that verse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They but did. They did. I was like thinking to myself, I was like, I would argue that Busy was better than Drake, but that's only because of I'm listening with the ears of all right, rapper to rapper, right? 
What's being said, one, mm. and this is no diss to Drake, because Drake is the man. Drake has figured out how to, you know how to this, right? win. <laughs> oh, man, get, like I said, mm-hmm. all all this got to go in, you know, because a lot of motherfuckers don't want to give credit to people. Mm-hmm. Right. They just want to make it, a, oh, I'm just here to cut you down. It's like, nah, I'm just using this shit as example. Like I said, I come from the time period where I can say, yeah, I remember what it was like when that bone first hit. Now, I ain't like the shit at first. Oh, I was all, all East Coast, East Coast, East Coast. But I still, but it was stupid because it was like, yeah, but you fuck with Easy e and NWA, so how can man. you not like Bone? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Come from that and truth. that's important mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm listening to it now, being here on the West Coast, as I'm yeah, playing yeah, Bone right. songs, I'm just like, nah, this shit is just as much LA, LA shit yeah, as it is Cleveland's. You know what I'm saying? When I was a kid, I swore I thought that I thought they were, I thought y'all. I, I swore yeah, I thought. Like, I really yeah. thought both. But you know what's crazy? Just the uh, um, just our. The point area. is, we about to fuck shit up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But but going back, even Virginia, like yo, that's all I was listening to. Bone yeah. Thugs. That's all I was. I was just Bone Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that's off crazy. with this. That's yeah. crazy. I'm gonna leave off with this though. And we about to build. Generational wealth, man. We're about to build <laughs> empirical wealth, man. Not to be confused with imperial wealth, because mm-hmm. imperialism and colonialism and capitalism should die immediately. All the isms, but yeah, all that ism shit, because that all shit that. hasn't worked for anyone. All right, no. but no. we're not just here to give you free shit, man. Y'all paying. Hundreds of thousands of dollars Man. investing in doo doo every day. <laughs> you know that's real. Yeah. Right? I mean, that goes Facts across though. the board from fashion yep. to music yep. to film to y'all invest in doo doo every Movies day. Movies is trash today. Hey, so we can do a separate day. Trash on that. Today. We can do a separate it's money. That. It's money to. around for for <laughs> righteous, righteous for shit that's, no, rooted, that's real, rooted in righteousness. We're not perfect. Right. It's about the spirit. Put a million on on, on, on us, please. Yeah, uh, on like, that. Put a million on this content. Y'all bags for niggas that yeah, suck. Man. And people that's you know, pretending. We don't need any money, man. We don't need any money. Put some money up for realism. How about yeah, that? Man. man. All right, we we going we gonna to end off with this, man. I'm going to make it fun at the end. All right. All right. Off top. Top five. In what, what regard? What happened? Just rap. rappers. Rappers. Because like, yeah, I was going to say producers. Rappers. rappers. No, 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 no. I'll just say rappers. rappers. Just give y'all rappers. Just give me a quick. I, I want to hear your just, five. Just, just a quick. Yeah, because we, 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 yeah, I'm sorry if I just put you on the spot. Because like top five is a really hard. It's question. a hard question. Okay, really then fine. We'll, we'll, top five. For we'll me. we'll do three of. We can. You can. You don't have to go five. You I'll go say three to five, five. just because okay. it makes it easier for me. Because right. it's like like you said, top five is hard because you end up leaving out someone. Yeah, that, know, that you sure. really fuck with. But who do you? But fuck if with, I had like, to throw off right now my top five, excluding that nigga Tim Hicks. <laughs> that, that Donald Max Patricia though. gave birth to because I Max. try not to do that a lot of people are like yeah you know my favorite rapper is me no mm-hmm. it's not nigga <laughs> stop lying anyway Andre 3000 Ooh. I want to say I'm not throwing him out there in any order but I put Dre at the top honestly right now for me I feel that Andre right, 3000 right. Black right. Thought Most Def Raekwon mm. damn he's a hot yeah Man. And maybe Ghostface. That might be my top five. Andre, Black Thought, Most Left, Ray Pond, and Ghost. That's, that's a, dope. Top Bron? Okay. Let me see. In no order. No. I will go. No order. I still love Eminem. I feel like his pen is just it remarkable. Was one of them dudes. You know what um, I, I, I haven't been a big fan of his song selection. But I can't take away from his skills. Mm-hmm. His skills is just hot mm-hmm. as well. Um, I'm gonna throw Kendrick in there because I'm, I'm I'm West Coast. I'm West biased. Coast. I'm biased mm-hmm. like that. Take mm-hmm. that. Okay, yeah. um, <laughs> let me see. You know what? I'm gonna put him in there because I was listening to his, his last two projects and I was just like, yeah, Nas. I gotta put Nas in there. Nas is definitely one of them ones. Those like last two projects, the King's Disease and like, bro, that shit like was crazy. Wait, the joints he did with Hit Boy. Hit Boy yeah, like, bro, yeah. Hit Boy with that. Because we, because we know what the stigma is. Like Nas don't pick good beats, uh, right? That's bullshit. But yeah, go ahead. So he came. He, but he yeah, came he correct. Made, he, he was not. So, so I'm gonna go with Nas. I'm gonna go with Nas in there. 
Um, Doom. Mm-hmm. Three stacks. I agree with Andre. No yeah. order. Andre Three Stacks. I'm going to give you mine, man. Who really, like, made me want to rap. Like, for real. It's DMX. Like, you of know, I'm, I'm a... I'm a huge, of course, mm-hmm. huge, like, of course, like, of course. You know, I, I love <laughs> to, that nigga. To man. interrupt you real quick, go though, ahead, go ahead. like, I feel like X, Pac, Biggie, I don't put them. They're kind of in their own, yeah. They're like space, like they're they're, they're like, like in Bob Marley world. Like yeah, it's a revolutionary. Yeah. You saying, know what I mean? Yeah, like I'm just saying for me, but this, I hear you. But I you understand, understand where I'm coming yeah, from I because understand. I'm gonna be real with you. If you, you, you want to take it there, these. He's the reason why I didn't do foolish things. Like it was specifically killing myself. Talking that camera, bro. Good. Give it. I'm. I'm. I'm letting no, 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 that's real. Like Seriously. I've, 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 you know, I've, I've had those thoughts of suicide at a young age after my mom passed. Mm-hmm. And DMX's track, you know, slipping, falling. I was like, oh, that's something I can. Relate to somebody who's went through that song. That yeah, might be my favorite DMX song. That you know might be my favorite. And, and and that hit me. For and sure. then not only that, like I was only, I, I was only ten years old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I was introduced to X, it's the power of ninety eight, man, and man. and, and just just, the, just the prayer, his, his prayer. And I I grew up, you know, my mom was very spiritual, and I still have that spirituality within me. So when I would hear DMX. When, when he would say, yo, his prayer and all that and just hear him crying. Every oh, album. Did his intro, Dark as Hell and Hell's Out, you know, having Mike Tyson walk Man. out to his shit. And I'm Man. just like, who is, I want to be just like him. Yeah. I want to, because my mom, when she was alive, it was about authenticity for her. She wasn't scared of anybody. She'll let you know what's happening, mm-hmm. regardless of how you feel. Mm-hmm. And that's what I saw X. Mm-hmm. I saw X as, so I always, when I have a video about you know DMX, but I always wanted to meet DMX. So when I heard he died, I, no, I, I cried so many yeah, times. It's yeah. like I, I was like, yo, I felt like honestly, I, I lost like, my you know, father. For sure, like, like for sure. To, to me, for sure. To me, like I was a mama's boy. I didn't let me be honest. I was, I didn't really look look up to my dad. I'm just being honest. It's just fact. Sorry, dad, <laughs> but I didn't know who else to look up to. Mm-hmm. And X taught me, yo, be a man. If you have something to say, be a realist. Be real about yourself. Be real with those around you and watch watch the snakes. That's always been and without man. that, I wouldn't know how to maneuver properly. That's how so I, I represent it. Yeah, no, that I, I love understand. That is that's my guy. So that's X right there. Mm. Prodigy. Mm. Oh man. Prodigy oh, again, man. another uh, rest about in prodigy, peace. Bro. You know, prodigy. even my sister my sister is 25 years old. Two days ago, she she was rapping the Shook Ones verse to me. <laughs> At 25, you asked a 25 year old to rap Prodigy's partner. Man, and Shook. man. When man, I heard that, you when I heard that, I said, I taught I taught her well. <laughs> I taught her well. That's dope. Because anybody. That's dope. Okay. A Z. You don't get the credit. Damn. Okay. Here's another like pen. Damn. Another penmanship. He just, he I didn't know he was going to throw that too. part out. That's a, that's AZ a, is my oh. guy as well, obviously. And mm-hmm. then you know what the AZ, Nas. Of course. We was there. listening to Sugar we, Hill on the way Sugar here. Hill. Then yeah, when we the, hit the 60, we was listening to Sugar just Hill. Just give me. That's what this was. Oh, just that give me yours. But that whole album was like, you Come know what I'm saying? Man. But outside of that, AZ. Come on, right. man. Yeah, AZ, AZ, and you talking about penmanship? Yeah. Yes. He was technical sure. with his bars for as sure. well. They got to yeah, put him on there that, too. Just the like early Eminem sound like early Eminem sound like AZ. Exactly. And everybody and everybody, and everybody looked up to AZ. You for had sure. him with AZ, Lil Wayne, yeah. Kanye was on there, and even AZ was like, I mean, Lil Wayne was like, yo, I I listened to the firm as well. Man, I saw I, I named four right. I said DMX. Oh, that was three. DMX, Prodigy, AZ. AZ. Yeah, you got two more. I got two more. Damn, I had that's it. I do rock. I rock with Ray Corn. And the last one, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw something again. He doesn't get his just do. Lupe. Okay. See, and obviously now Pac, you gonna make me want to go change see, now, one. Now see, Pac, but Pac, Pac is a real, real one for me. I can say the Pac. Same thing about DMX. Remember how you're talking about they're in their own thing. 
Pac was a major influence for, for hip hop sure. wise for me. For sure. But then just also the essence of rapping as well. Obviously that's Pac, but Lupe, Lupe, bro. Lupe made you had to think about what you're actually writing, you know? Because I'm also a poet. I'm like, yo, what it's is this thing saying? Like a bird you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, what? Lupe, yeah. Revenge yeah, of the Nerds, Fahrenheit, bro. And he wasn't scared of being himself. He, he, tell me nothing about you Lupe. You're talking about man. the anime with yeah. MF Doom. That's the yeah. same thing. Japanese culture as well. Man, yeah. 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 Lupe, man. He don't get his due. But yeah. I buy yeah, by that censorship. Yes. But yeah. I get back on my nigga shit. But yeah, man. Any last words, man? Anybody want to say anything before we head out, man? Damn. Oh, man. This was dope, man. Yeah. This, this was fun. It's like, I know we got the camera rolling, but it's like this even when the camera's on, man. Yeah. Yeah. This is just, this wasn't even no interview. This is just three brothers just vibing, bro. Vibing. This is what we do all the time. So, wow. like, I, I had a blast, man. I didn't even know I was going to even be in this. I came from Watts. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little photo shoot to do out there, right, man. Right. And they was like, yo, we going over to Keats. I'm like, oh, shit, what y'all got popping? Yeah, yeah. So, Came through, man, just vibe with the brothers. And, and watch out. You know, this obviously, this is most Thursdays. I'm going to put the link there. Damn. You can check the merch right there. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to let, let the dirt say his shit. But, yo, there's one thing. Yeah, make sure you get the merch. And you're going to see us more often. It's going to be on another page coming soon. Yep. Obviously, you're going to catch a vibe with the music. But you're going to catch a vibe with three individuals that... People need to hear us, not only with the raps, not even not just rap, just music, yeah. but also our, just just talking. Just our talk process, you, you'll see. Yeah. You're going to see it. And I'm, I'm putting that to existence because guess what? It's going to happen. Right. And I wanted this to be a preview of what's special to come. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Man, so, for exactly. sure. Mm -hmm. That's the music's on the way. Make sure you cop the merch most Thursdays. Like and subscribe. Uh, let the dirt. Ah, uh, man. What do you want to say to him real quick? Love is lovely and war is kind of ugly. All right? Make love and not war. <laughs> man. Don't be an asshole. Um, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. All right? And, hey, yo, Brother Chase Infinite, if you're listening, I need your help. I got some fire shit. Let's talk. Man. Oh, God, man. And shout out to my kids, man. Hannah, Zoe, Billa, and Hanoff. I love y'all. Man. Let's make it happen, man. Yo, this is Mills Thursdays. We got something special on the way, yo. Make sure to sub, like, and comment. Thank you so much. I want to go for the camera cut. Shout out to my lady, BB Lamont. Hey! And I'm on it. And I'm on it. AJ, love you, baby. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> love is love. <laughs>